What's up, fire signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage the cards for the fire gods. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Let's see what's popping, babies. We're going to start out with Aqu uh, Aquarius. Ooh. <laughs> We're going to start out with Aries and then Leo and then Sagittarius. Okay? So let's see what's popping for the week, baby. We're going to get the overall energies of what's going on in your environment and what's going on in your atmosphere. We have a night of pentacles. So definitely taking some sort of action here, Aries. Uh oh, talk to me, baby. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy that you're also working with as well. I also have the 10 of pentacles. So you guys could be getting to some actions. You could be dealing with Gemini, all right? But I feel in your overall environment, it's getting to the motherfucking action. Knight of Pentacles, lover's energy here. So definitely Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, most definitely. But in your overall energies, this is taking care of your practicalities. There could be somebody that has some sort of offer or someone that is definitely thinking of a connection or making connections here. Okay, Aries. So... We also have teach and blossom. Okay, this is looking good, baby. Aries, my darlings, you guys are making things come into fruition. You could be using your hands. You could be teaching. You could be learning. Whatever the case may be, baby, you could go vice versa. There's definitely something here with a family matter or dealing with family matters. Okay, could be dealing with children as well. But for some of you guys, I'm seeing what this... Uh, Ten of Pentacles, baby. You guys are on top of the motherfucking money for the weekend. Okay. Could be dealing with uh, security, comfortability. Okay. I'm also seeing some of you guys could be taking care of your home. Let's see what's going on between you and your love for the weekend, Aries. Here we go. What's going on with Aries? Oh, okay. So we got the hangman energy, baby. So someone could be in suspense. Someone could be hanging around, awaiting some results, waiting for, um, just waiting. Okay. Um, I feel between you and your lover, there's definitely some messages of somebody's trying to get some information out there. Could be somebody who's spying. Page of Swords energy here. So it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, Six of Swords, so definitely a lot of thought being put into this, okay? Or somebody could be watching you like Netflix, sneaking around the motherfucking corner, okay? Now, some of you guys definitely could be dealing with uh, somebody who's online or someone who's watching you online, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy here. So, Aries, darlings, there is somebody who's watching you. Justice energy could be Le Le uh, Leo, Libra. All right. Also have here Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Tower energy, Ace of Wands. Okay. Now, some of you Aries could be feeling like there's a lot of talking, a lot of communication that needs to get out. Somebody could have some explosive communication as well with that Tower energy, Queen of Swords. But I feel like there's somebody who feels left out and lonely or there's no passion with this five of swords, also ace of wands, okay? So someone is definitely running out of passion. Could be an end here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. 
Also, Empress Knight of Wands, they're going to be trying to take a uh, scroll your way, baby. <laughs> but the Knight of Wands, Empress, okay, it could be children involved. I do see a lot of children so far. Let's check out the Rebel cards. But someone is definitely scrolling your way with the Knight of Wands. Could be kind of coming in a little slow. It's saying be fucking grateful. Uh-oh. So it could be saying be grateful because there's something that came to an end here or somebody just needs to be happy overall with what you've come into fruition so far. All right. It's saying figure shit out on your own. You got to motherfucking do that shit. Okay. Figure that shit out on your own. Somebody is definitely watching you. It says because fuck it. Aries rebel. Now my Aries already know, honey. You guys do this shit naturally, okay? So you guys could be the ones to rebel, but it says, get that ugly cry on, let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. Okay, and you need a good fucking cry. I don't know too many Aries that cry. Now that I think about it. And if they do cry, it's, you know, to shut shit up and calm shit down. <laughs> so let's see about possible outcomes. All right, so far we have here the two of pentacles, the fool. Okay, so there's somebody who's stopped entertaining something. They could have made a final decision. <clears throat> you also have the fool energy here, okay? So someone is starting that new leap of faith, taking that new direction. Could be somebody who just comes along, come in your direction, Aries. Some of you guys, I feel like this could be you as well. Some of you all are thinking about things, but not thinking of a consequence. You also could be um, trying to detach yourself. You could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here as well. Someone I feel is being very, very critical or just wanting to get their way. Otherwise, they might have some things that are pushing them, you know, to feel some certain type of way. So definitely be aware of that. I feel uh, like this is you with the Six of Wands energy coming in with success. Also with the Six of Cups, you know, you definitely have a lot of... Um, Possible children. I feel, I feel it's a lot of scenarios where someone is being taught or there could be someone who's, you know, a little bit lower than you. Okay. So I do feel possible outcomes, a lot of success here. Somebody's being congratulated as well. Two of cups. So somebody got the gift that keeps on giving, baby. <laughs> Two of cups. Just kidding. Two cups, also Knight of Swords. I feel someone's kind of upset. Could be a work environment with this Ten of Wands coming in reverse, or someone just feels burdened in the situation. But there's definitely someone who could um, be letting go of a third party situation here. Three of Cups in reverse, Three of Swords, Aries. So get ready. Okay, let's take a look at the Romance Angels. Because I do feel there is something that is maturing here and blossoming. And I love it, Eddie's. Here we go. All right. We got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So y'all could be needing to get some passion, some sexual passion, some love. Okay, a new beginning. But there's also some codependency here. That's probably why that page of swords, somebody was peeking around the corner. They, you know, are obsessive about it. But they also could be you know, dealing with a lot of romance and a lot of uh, sexual chemistry to where it kind of makes someone feel impulsive, all right? <laughs> chemistry, passion, also engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You're going to see why this weekend, Aries. I love it, baby. Attraction at the bottom of the deck. Damn, talk to me. Some of you guys are going to be using in pheromones coming in this weekend, Aries. Let's see what's going on with my Leos. Here we go. With my Leos. Let's see what's going on in your environment. What could be going on in your atmosphere? Knight of Cups in reverse. Five of Wands. Okay, so someone's wanting to make a move here. It could be a romantic offer, whatever the case may be, but someone feels stuck in their emotions. Okay, I feel there is somebody who's trying to get rid of multiple parties here, Leo. It could be that there's some sort of struggle or a challenge that you're trying to come out of with multiple people. Okay, there also is someone who needs to take some sort of accountability and leadership about their um, about people who are watching them as well. 
Definitely communicating here. Throat chakra. So somebody could be talking, communicating, drinking tea, using that voice box, baby. All right. Let me give one more. Trust and coming together. So someone's afraid to make a move is what I'm seeing here with this trust and also coming together towards love. Okay. Or you guys could be coming together with a love. Oh, Possible Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Let's see what's going on in your romance apartment, baby. Off top, we got the four of swords. So someone could have been taking a break. Could have been because of some player-like activities. Could have been because of a message that was received. Page of Wands. Definitely some Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. Another fire sign. Also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Definitely dealing with some work situations or work environments as well. I feel with this uh, King of Pentacles, five of seven of wands, also six of swords, six of wands, Leos. You guys definitely have some sort of success that your partner wants to deal with. I feel like this person is definitely fighting for this or someone is definitely um, in a they need some they need some new energy. OK, they need some new love. It could be some dick or some sex or some pussy or something, honey, with this page of wands. But I feel somebody's definitely fighting for this. It also could be that someone is um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. A lot of fire here. So someone is getting to that money. But I feel in between you two, there is someone who needs to, who is focusing on getting to the money. Okay. Six of pentacles in reverse. Also 10 of pentacles in reverse, Leo. What's going on, honey? Also, somebody who's kind of coming in angry with this tower. Knight of Swords, someone who has anxiety towards the situation or anxiety towards you. Wow. Someone who possibly wants to leave away. Let's get a rebel card. Let's get a few rebel cards and see what's up. It says, eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature, Leo. So pump that iron up, baby. Get that protein. Okay. Vitamin C, whatever deficiencies y'all might be having. Also, it says figure shit out on your own. So, yeah, someone is definitely leaving away, period. It says they broke your heart. Fuck them. Uh-oh. Okay, so someone is definitely heartbroken here. That's probably why that tower energy is here. Or someone is really starting to notice what's going on. Okay, it says... You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never fucking works. Okay. So it says if you think someone is lying, they are for the weekend, darling. Let's see what's going on. Possible outcomes for my Leos. So far here, we have the eight. Oh, my goodness. Leos, what's going on? Eight of cups in reverse. Eight of... Ace of Cups in reverse. Also, Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, so for some of you, Leos, there's somebody who's definitely not happy. There's somebody who's keeping their options open. Okay, there's someone who's disconnecting here with this Eight of Wands in reverse. Also, Two of Wands in reverse. Okay, King of Swords, someone who's detaching. I feel like someone is taking a break from the situation or someone's definitely needing some guiding energy and wisdom surrounded by this. I feel someone is definitely being lonely and being emotional because someone has locked them out. Three of Swords energy here. Leo. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, someone's definitely lying to you this weekend. Could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be a fixed sign. All right, full energy fire as well. But there's someone who's going to try to take a leap of faith. But, try, you know, don't give your hopes up, okay? I feel like there's going to be somebody who's building up a third-party situation with this three of pentacles or something that's definitely building into something else. Okay, so be aware of that. Let's see if I got anything good. Yeah, six of pentacles. Okay, high priestess, you could be finding out that someone is um, going back to their childhood or someone from the past. Leo, someone definitely could be dropping themselves from a third party situation. I feel you're going to be gaining balance. You could be dealing with a temperance energy, but someone is definitely going to be in their head and they need to have some sort of meeting of the minds or some togetherness. Okay. So this is what that communication is all about. New love. Oh, 
Talk to me, baby. It's a lot of confusion as well. Leo in these cards, soulmate energy. Yes, this is your soulmate. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings and also give your partnership a chance. Now, some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who's putting you through the flippity floppity. Okay. All right, my loves. Leo, this is very interesting. Y'all know I'm going to give it to you raw and real. All right. But there is some truth that's going to come out. You're going to be sitting in your truth. So let's see what's going on to my Sagittarius. Here we go, babies. We're going to get the overall environment energy. What's going on in the atmosphere? Something is wrong with my cards, baby. Okay, let's shuffle for my Sagittarius. What is going on with my car? All right. This looks better. Sometimes the cards do their own damn thing. Here we go, Sagittarius. Okay. I did see the Five of Swords. Maybe there's some sort of argument or disagreement that has happened. Okay. So off top, you have the Ace of Cups, okay, and the Eight of Swords. So there's some love in your environment, Sagittarius. Okay, Aries also got this as well. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Who else got the Ace of Cups? I think uh, Cancer. I think Cancer got the Ace of Cups, Sagittarius. But off top in your overall environment, there's a lot of love. So you guys could be surrounded by people that are giving you love. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here, okay? But there is somebody who's keeping themselves behind. There could be some vibes or some feelings that you aren't really trying to trust, okay? Or you can't really trust. You might be feeling blinded towards the situation, Sagittarius, overall. But I feel you're trying to keep your emotions altogether. I do see a lot of red for some of you guys, so that could be significant to you for this weekend, okay? But I do feel with this base chakra and also this challenging times, there's going to be something you're going to have to figure out that comes from within, okay, that you're facing in challenging times, but there's something you're definitely going to have to listen to, Sagittarius, for the weekend, okay? So let's see what's going on in your love life, babies. Here we go. Okay, so we have the two of pentacles, the hangman energy here. All right, I feel somebody is wanting to break free in their independence. There's some sort of decision that's having to be made between you and your partner, or there's someone who's on hold with you and your partner. You got the devil energy here as well, too. So don't be sex drugging and rocking and rolling with that Leo possible Sagittarius Aries energy for some of you guys. I feel like there could be some toxicity you're starting to see as well, too. You can look at it multi ways, Sagittarius. You also have the Knight of Swords here. Okay, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody who's coming in and out. Be aware of that toxicity, okay, of somebody being inconsistent, someone who's just dropping and leaving, all right? But I feel someone is letting go of a third party situation or someone is really planning for their ships to come in. They're ready for a new turn of leap, a new page. OK, Knight of Wands energy here. So also Leo uh, with this Knight of Wands and the sun. OK, so some of you all are definitely thinking about some clarity, making actions this weekend between you and your partner. I feel like there's definitely some sort of movement happening here or someone could be uh, changing places, traveling. Okay. You got the chariot, also the knight and the knight of swords. So some of you all could be dealing with three different people. Okay. Possible Kansetti and Gemini Libra Aquarius. Also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. Okay. So let's see what the rebel messages have to say. There's definitely someone who's either traveling to you or you're traveling to them. <clears throat> All right, so far we have don't fucking force it. Allow the shit to come to you. So don't fucking force shit. Allow it to just be. It's, what did Bruce Lee say? Don't think. See. <laughs> so it's also saying you are being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. Someone could be being shady around you. Or this could be you, Sagittarius. 
Okay, somebody could be throwing the shade, baby. I'm also seeing it saying, stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. Uh-oh. So someone could be feeling like, you know, salt or engulfed in their feelings. But it's also saying, stop checking on people. Stop asking about them. Don't worry about them if they ain't worried about your motherfucking ass, okay? And it says, if you think someone's lying, they are. Be aware of that as well, too. Let's see. What's going on in possible outcomes to my Sagittarius for the weekend? We got the High Priestess, the Seven of Wands. Oh, shit. The Ten of Cups. Okay. So there's something that you're becoming aware of, all right? You could be seeing things coming to fruition. You could be on the desk. So Raven type of shit, Sagittarius. But a lot of you guys already know that there is somebody who is definitely... Um, wanting some truths here, someone who could be lying, being called out on their shit, all right? Some of you all might want to just, you know, cut this connection or cut things off and mind your business, tend to yourself, but I feel like someone's definitely spying or they could be watching a family setting, okay, Sagittarius? So let's see these romance angels have to say. Ten of Cups could be some sort of emotional happiness here, but someone is definitely looking. Okay, so reconciliation and release your ex. So it could have been some sort of argument or disagreement that happened that someone's either releasing this person or there could be a reconciliation. Could go either way. All right. Also, honeymoon. Enjoy this bliss of holiday time together. So taking a trip, possibly. Some of y'all could be working on your partnerships as well as you heal and as you release people and try to reconcile. All right. I love you guys. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal reading, hit that description box. Down below, check out my website, morellsmoon.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.